Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and right in front of us we have the Spice Dream Uno. Don't go by the Spice, actually this is an Android One phone and uh, Google has just released Android Marshmallow for this phone. So it, it, it is a really big surprise what uh, all happened with the Android Lollipop. So Google has rectified the mistakes and the Android Marshmallow is already available for this phone. And we, now I will be booting up into the phone. I have used it for more than a couple of hours. But I will be booting it up and showing you all uh, the boot image as well. So this is the new Marshmallow boot. So as you can see it is very similar to the Android Lollipop but uh, with some changes. So the first thing that we notice is the app drawer. So the app drawer is now changed to the vertical scroll which is which is really good we, because we also get the search option in this. So if I want games so it comes like this, if I want photos it will be there and most used apps or predicting apps also over here. So these are the four apps that Google thinks that you want to use it now or you, uh, you have used it the most. So I just switched it on and uh, used it for a couple of hours so I was just setting up the phone and these are the four apps that I've used uh, by now. So it's coming up like this. Another cool thing that they have add, uh, added is the now on tab. So it is working on the uh, Android uh, one as well. Uh, we don't have anything to scan it right here and this is a new phone so we don't have anything to do it with. Uh, so no apps or anything. But uh, the now on tap is working perfectly fine on this as well. And it's really good to see that the uh, low spec phones are also supported by the now on tap. So when we come into the settings, we uh, first of all we'll see about the Android version. So it's 6.0 and when we go into this, so it's Marshmallow. So the, when we have to play the game it's like 3, 2, 1 and then start and the game is still not uh, that easy to play. Oh it's 1 now. So it's three. It's a very good score according to me. So this is the Android Marshmallow. And a good thing that they have also added is the Android security patch level. There have been concerns regarding the security of the phone and the malware on the Android. So they have added a new thing, the Android security patch. And Google said that it will be updating it monthly. So it is right now on the 1st October. So it is right now in the current uh, security patch and it's nice to see they've put a lot more uh, emphasis on the security as well of the phone. Another good thing that uh, they've added is the app permissions. So, so as you can see I've not added a lot of, I've not added any app. So these are the apps that have uh, apply, uh, got permission for the camera right now for the for accessing your camera. So we can edit it easily. So for contacts there are 10 apps that have taken permission. Contacts, Gmail and everything so we can dismiss it as well. And we can also allow it back and that's easy. So app permission is now integrated in this. So we are used to sign engine mode the app, app permissions. But now Google has also integrated it and it looks good. Another thing that uh, they have done it was uh, the much needed is the SD card storage. So we can now uh, mount the SD card. So guys this part of the video was shot a little later. In this part I am showing you guys how Android Marshmallow is, uh, is supporting the SD cards. So there are two ways of uh, uh, using your SD cards in the phone. And uh, when you when you put in a new SD card or when you for, uh, factory reset your phone uh, you, it gives you an uh, option uh, at that time. So there are two forms of uh, using your micro SD cards uh, in your uh, Android one devices or an, in your Android 6.0 devices so one of them is as a portable storage so using it only for photos and uh, media uh, things like uh, movies and uh, uh, movies and songs and using uh, it as an internal storage so you can keep anything uh, even the app data or anything you can uh, you can read the instructions over here so they've integrated that as well in the Android Marshmallow that was very much needed for phones like this or any phones that are uh, supporting SD card in today's generation so they've also changed their volume volume settings so we do get the volume settings like this and uh, we also can expand it for this so we are used to this on the custom roms but uh, android has so android has picked them picked it up and uh, now we can do it uh, like this so another good thing that they have added that uh, that is not present in the custom roms or anything is that uh, the volume can be edited uh, single hand uh, singly so if i if i press this and uh, go into the alarms so i can edit the alarm volume then I can go into the music and I can edit it, then into the ringer and then I can edit it. So it can be all done at once.
So just by a click of button. Another good thing that they've added for the memory or the RAM is the memory option over here. So they've added memory over here and it shows us the memory that has been used. So performance is normal. Total memory is 1 gig, so 0.94 GB. And average uh, on an averagely basis, it's using 63% of the storage. So right now, free storage is 357 MB. And the memory that um, um, is the memory that is mostly being used is by Android systems, Android OS. The Google apps also uses a couple some MBs. So this is how the storage is done. So they've also edited uh, the app info. So this is the new style of app info. So notifications can be edited from here. And it is a little bit uh, on the better. It looks a little better. So storage of uh, how much storage is it taking? Then we go into the storage and then we can clear data and cache. Then, then data used. So battery use after the full charge zero percent by the settings because we haven't used it a lot. And memory so 2.5 MB average memory use in okay, three hours so the two MB of uh, your RAM is being used by the settings. So that's nice. So Google has also added a good thing in this is that the Google over here. So this is so this is my. Uh, uh, Euphoria running on stock Android, and uh, as you can see in the uh, in the app drawer, the first thing that we see is the Google settings over here. So if we go into the Google settings, so it's uh, so it's exactly similar to what we get on inside uh, the Google settings over here. So. So that's a that's a good thing that they have added. They have integrated it into the settings as permanently, and we don't have to bother uh, it in the app drawer again and again every time. Another feature that I really liked was the copy paste uh, way. So we can now copy. So the moment I selected it, it came as copy, cut, and share over here, and we can also get it like the tra select all and translate. So in, if we press it, translate, it comes like this. So that's really nice. And uh, they've uh, they've integrated a lot of things in this. These are some features on the Android Marshmallow, on, on the Sp uh, Spice Dream Uno. Actually, the Android one. It it's working on any Android one uh, phone. And uh, I think that uh, so Android Marshmallow is a great thing that they have done. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. This was Sharon here from Twenty Four Seven Techie, showing you guys the Android uh, Marshmallow on the Android one devices. It's uh, it's very similar to the experience that you will get on a Nexus device. Just a little small brother and everything else is same it's a dual sim device so you will also get a couple uh, option of dual sim plus the uh, plus the sd card storage and i think that uh, this time google has perfectly got it right with updating the android one devices so quickly guys please do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and if you do subscribe it will be a very big help to us so and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya